before I get going through the Communist Manifesto, I want to share you a few things. Here's St. Christopher. Yeah, he has a dog's head. Here's St. George slaying a dragon. Here's St. Valentine. For no other reason, here's my favorite uh, icon of nativity. I used to own this. I don't know what happened to it. I think I buried it with uh, somebody. Oh, I forgot one. William of Norwich. He's a Roman Catholic saint, by the way. But notice there's a trend with William of Norwich, St. Christopher, St. Valentine. <clears throat> They've been demoted. St. Valentine, they said there wasn't enough reliable evidence. I, I don't know what they mean by that. St. Christopher, maybe because there was many varying traditions or more than one man named St. Valentine and uh, mixed together. I, I still don't know why you would demote either Valentine or Christopher. Yet William of Norwich. William of Norwich. Which is the most well-documented case of what gets called blood libel. It was a boy that was murdered by Jews Kim a martyr. Now, it doesn't matter why the Jews murdered him. There was probably, there might have been, you know, embellishment. You know, his blood was being made for the, you know, whatever, the, the matzah or, or something like that. Some, um, but he, he did die a slow death because of basically death by a thousand cuts and just, you know, keep poking him until he, you know, bleeds out. But it's undisputable that he was murdered by a group of Jews. Nobody shies away when um, a group of Christians or atheists or Muslims kill a Jew. But the most well-documented case, Thomas of Monmouth, I mean, a lot of these, the five writers writing in less than 10 years of his, his uh, murder. <clears throat> Do you know why William of Norwich was demoted? Vatican II, and because it was seen as possible fuel for anti-Semitism. You know, Judas, whose actual name means Jew, and was a Jew, and uh, worked for the Pharisees, which is the only line of Judaism that still exists today. Um, all four Gospels having to train Christ. Maybe we should have Maybe they should change the gospel so that Thomas betrays Christ. Or better yet, Philip or Alexander, because those are Greek names. You know, they're Jews too. Uh, 
Is this what it's come to? William of Norwich is no longer a Roman Catholic saint. Thank God I'm not a Roman Catholic anymore. I'm Eastern Orthodox. Because I'm Eastern Orthodox, he is a full-fledged saint. He is a full-fledged saint. Oh, Perpetua, they were going to knock her down until they found, you know, her bone, full-fledged saint. Yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, full-fledged saint, uh, a Jewish convert to orthodoxy actually gave me an icon of St. Christopher with the dog's head. No joke. So anybody wants to cry anti-Semitism, uh, no. Take back. It's what our pets are meant, meant to eat. Instinct, the raw brand. I don't know what is going on with this phone. Because in the 1100s, Jews murdered a boy. 900 years later, the 1960s, he can no longer be a martyr or saint because people might think negatively of the Jews. <clears throat> Apparently, it's not um, sticking to your faith or being killed for your faith. It's popular opinion that makes you a saint. This is probably one of the most disgusting acts. The Novus Ordo, Vatican II, Roman Catholic Church has ever done. Peace to you. May God save Serbia, Syria, and Ireland.